going to be leaving to Florida and um, it's gonna feel super weird not having him here, but I'm happy for him, I really, really am. All right guys, so I had to go pick up the kids early from school to bring them to their doctor's appointment. <clears throat> he has to get a shot. Um, she's just coming for her yearly checkup. Trying to get all this stuff out the way guys before my husband leaves because my husband is leaving to Florida. Um, I'm kind of thinking about going with him. Uh, I'm not sure. Sandwich. I'll see how it goes, but um, I'll see what happens. I don't know, you know, because it's like a really, really short call. Mm -hmm. We didn't know my husband was going to go to Florida. It happened like one day to another. And by the time we knew it, they emailed his his uh, plane ticket. And I was like, it happened so fast. So I swear I hate this vein right here. Honestly, guys, ever since I got the COVID and I got really, really sick from the COVID, and I got the really bad headaches. This vein right here comes out when my head starts hurting me. And my head is hurting me right now. So, like, this vein comes out every time my head starts hurting me. It's so weird. I did go to the doctor. I got checked. Everything was good. <clears throat> they just said that I'm going to have the headache problem for a while. Because that's just something that comes with the COVID. And it takes a while to get rid of. So, I'm stuck with this headache. And I'm stuck with this line in the middle of my forehead. Well, it don't come out all the time but it comes out whenever my head starts hurting it's so weird whenever i start feeling like my head killing me that vein pops up i need to put some makeup on like color girl i'm about to get the doctor's office we're gonna go to the store get some stuff done um my boss's husband it's his birthday today so we're treating him to dinner um so yeah we got a lot of stuff ahead of us all right, so we got out of the doctor's office. We went to the store. Well, actually, I got out the doctor's office. I went to uh, go pick up my son from school, my oldest son, because he was texting, texting me, whining, talking about he wants to come home. He's tired, which, guys, you know, I've, I said a lot of times, he, he does do a lot during the week. And he's going to be at practice for the rest of the week, even on the clean this weekend. So, you know, I, I was like, just going to go get him out of school, you know, and let him get the little day off. So... He's taking the day off. I said, go get a lunch. Because that little boy is rotten spoiled. I'm telling you, all my kids are spoiled. I'm not even going to lie, guys. Like, these kids are spoiled. Right after he went from school, he was like, can you take me to go buy lunch and drop me off at home? I'm like, no, you're going to go to the stores with me. Because he knows I had to go to the stores today. And he's like, no, I don't want to go to the stores. I want to, I just want you to buy me a lunch and I want to go home. And I'm like, oh my God, this kid. So I went to buy him a lunch, took him home. I went to go get the little cake for my friend. Um... I'm going to go to the store in a little bit. Well, my husband and I get off for lunch, so I'm going to go have lunch with him, which I already had a little burger. I'm not even hungry, honestly, because I ate with the kids but when, I, when I bought my son some food. Um, and I got him at school. I got him at school at 10, 10.30 a.m. He was in school in a couple hours, and I was going to pick him up. But, and I never, ever pick him up early like that, guys, ever. Only if he has a doctor's appointment or something like that, but he's always at school, so that's why I really didn't care about picking him up because I did have lots of to do anyway, so I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll get him out of school. And so I only have one kid in school right now, and that's Maya, and the other two are riding around with me. He got out early, and my daughter got out early because we had to go to the doctor's office, so. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go have lunch with my husband, have something small, I've been told my mom been hungry. Have something small, and then I'm going to go to the store and buy some balloons and stuff, so I'm going to put balloons in front of their house um, on their uh, mailbox and stuff, just to surprise him, because I know, I know that's going to make him really, really happy. Uh, little things like that makes him really, really happy. I, mean, I wonder who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my boss's husband. It's his birthday today. So, yeah. Um, I was going to get him a cake and stuff. I think I'm going to wait till my husband gets off of work. So we go to Walmart to buy him something. <clears throat> we usually buy him shirts and stuff. I go to Burlington and buy him like, some nice collared shirts. Because he, you know, the, the job he has, he, he's an engineer. <laughs> uh, and he has just real casual and stuff. So, I usually buy him shirts. But we buy him shirts all the time. He has so many shirts that we already bought him. So I'm like, I don't want to buy him a shirt. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I buy him. But yeah, I think I'm waiting for my husband to get off work so we could go and go get him a gift. So yeah, I'm heading to my husband's job. job. My husband's job. I'm heading to his job <clears throat> now. My throat still hurts, guys. It, it's still a little itchy and irritated. Ugh, it's aggravating me. I ain't gonna lie. I hate when my throat hurts me like this, but it's not getting, this is not helping me though. I'm, I have ice in my coffee. But I'm doing better. Because the other day I was really, really sick for two days. I felt really sick, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I felt sick. I felt like I was getting fever and everything. I started losing my voice. It's crazy how, how, how it came and it went that fast. I got sick, got really, really sick for like two days, and then it went away. It was crazy. Mom, but yeah. How you got Let me get off this camera for a cop sees me and they try to pull me over. 
So my daughter's asking, how did I get sick? Baby, do you remember, baby, when I started choking on my pills? Mm -hmm. I took some, um, I took some Advil, and I, my husband's always telling me to take one at a time, and I took four of them at a time, and they got stuck in my throat, guys. I could not breathe. It was crazy. I was changing color and everything. My daughter, my little one in the back, she was freaking out. I, that's never happened to me where I feel like I couldn't breathe. That's never happened to me. It was the ugliest feeling ever. I felt like I was going to die for real. I was like literally running for my life. I was running towards the hallway to go try to call my husband because my girls were screaming for my husband. But he was in the restroom, so I, he thought they were just probably just playing or something. He didn't think nothing of it. Thank God he came out because I was already turning the color. It was crazy. But yeah, that's how I started feeling sick because I put my fingers on my throat. And the day after that, I started feeling sick. Look, I don't know if you have ever seen these before, but they sell these. I don't even know what they're called. What is that place Raspas. called? Raspas. Oh, yeah, Raspas. Yeah, yeah. They're like a little Raspas spot, and they, they put candies and stuff in them. They usually have Mexican candy. I don't know. Look, look, come here, Lollipop. I'm surprised they have a, a blow pop Dang. in there. That one just like hit me. One one. The other day, oh, but I forgot to tell you, the other day he wanted me to get you one. I mean, he wanted me he wanted me to tell you, go get him one, and I forgot to tell you. This one out here is skipping out on Van tonight. I mean, today. So, in case Van just sees this video, you see Ricardo sitting right there? This is what he'd rather do. This is what he'd rather do. Stay home and eat. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. If I go to school, I can get the same things that Rico has. Things like that. Yeah, Rico has a Piccadilly. You got a Piccadilly with you? Mm -hmm. Wait, Dad, when I go to middle school, I can get that, right? Look, let me show you his. No. Look, his so has. I, I wonder what happened to the Mexican candy. Oh, this right here fell off too. I was gonna tell you. Uh, his has Lucas and chopped up pickles in it, and then the gummy bears. This right here is usually candy. I don't know. They probably found the mm. cheapest route to do it because Mexican candy is expensive. So that is a Piccadilly. My honey got its suitcase out. He about to start getting ready to pack. All right, we're at Walmart, and my honey's getting everything little to put in his suitcase because he can't, you know, he can't get in the plane with things that weigh a certain amount or something like that, we were told. So we came to Walmart to get his stuff. You okay with me? Yeah, I'm okay, honey, buddy. Where are his suitcase? Look, just get your little packet like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's Look, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, baby, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't want that. I'm gonna miss my honey bunnies. You gonna get honey bunnies? Yeah. You gonna miss me a lot? Yeah, I'm gonna miss you, baby. Very good. Oh, I was gonna say Listerine, too. But yeah, look, they got too. this one right here. Yeah. I got the Listerine. I like Listerine better. Okay. Let's go. There's my honey guy packing his bag. He got all his little mini soaps and stuff in there. And some clothes. Now I gotta iron his uniform. Yeah, my your outfit. The outfit yeah. he's gonna wear. You do it. You, you do it today or tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow too. Tomorrow too. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, it's my, you can just relax until you did a lot of it. I did. Yeah, you did a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> His shirts and his maletas. Well, you know, maleta. Now, I'm wondering why I'm ironing on my towel, guys. <laughs> I broke my ironing board because y'all know I iron my kids' clothes every morning and I think I just used it out. I don't know. So I have to get another one now. So that's why I got me an old towel and my iron. <laughs> so I ironed his clothes. We didn't put him on hangers because he's not gonna take no hangers with him to on the airport. He's just gonna, I just folded them like that and he could just take them like that, you know. <clears throat> I ironed them. I'm not really good at folding them like the, like this, but I did my best. All right, baby, you can put that in your maleta, baby. Babe, put that in your maleta. Oh, 
Like, I mean, I, I still want to leave at 320. Yeah. I just want to know, can I be at the airport? Because I don't know if they'd be like, no, it's only a limited amount of people could be here, you know? I just want to make sure I can arrive oh, there early. No, no, no. Absolutely. Um, the only uh, restriction that we you can't check bags uh, until at least four hours before. At least four hours before? Okay, that, 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 all right, cool. Yeah, you, can, you can't check bags. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll be there by 1.30 so I can turn it in, all right, pretty much. Oh, absolutely. You're fine going in at any time. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Oh, now, that works for me. That's what I really wanted to know. I, I really appreciate it, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks so much for choosing Southwest. You have a great day. You too. Bye. On a little road trip, I am going to, it's Saturday today, and we're going to go drive to the airport to see if I could take my husband, because honestly, it's far away from my home. I want to make sure we could get there. I could get there and come back, because if not, I have to just take an Uber. So we're heading there, so we're taking y'all with us, so we'll see you when we get there. you know we're 45 the, the freeway 45 the, the cars just get too close the, the roads the streets are just like so freaking small on that freeway i freaking hate it the whole way over here my fingers and my feet were like but like you know i want to bring i want to bring my husband tomorrow you know so i was like we're gonna have to drive over there these are some ugly apartments the these are super apartments <laughs> like one more hurricane is a wrap yeah they're done so yeah, we just got the freeway and now we're down to the airport. We're gonna be there in two freaking minutes. So yeah, I was a wreck, and that's why I, my husband supposed to take Uber. <clears throat> the Uber was gonna pick him up, and when he when he when he lands back in Houston, you know he'll take an Uber back home too. But I'm like, I have a car, I could bring him. But you know, we try, we kind of thought about thought about the whole Uber process. So you know, him doing that because of me being scared of driving the freaking freeways. But I need to get used to it. I just need to suck it up and like, you know, cause you know, what if I have to come over and come pick him up when he lands? Cause he gets here later. So I mean, I don't know, you know? So he's coming with me. <laughs> it's crazy. Cause we always do this when I have to drop him off somewhere or he has dropped me off or I have to go somewhere by myself far away. He always takes me to go drive the route so I can know where I'm going. Like the last time that I went out with my sister and them for, for lunch, I was like, can you drive me over there so you could that is super Ain't no way. ghetto. Like, where are we at? Ain't no way. I don't know where we at. <clears throat> we'll see when we get there. Yeah. It's like really kind of confused to me. I think I keep on going straight, yeah. Left lane. Dollar Dodge, 50, bro. Enterprise, Hearts, uh, no. Alamo, National, all that stuff. Nah. Nah, I think I'm just going. Uh, I think I, I, think I have to go this way. But I think I'm going straight. Yeah, so much. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is an ugly ugly area like it is so trashy and nasty over here <laughs> for real <laughs> see i was right oh, okay come on going straight yeah. all right yeah you have arrived i'm going inside there <laughs> Pitches to the plane, we get bigger and bigger. Passenger drop off.
up for him. Check in at right here. Boom, you're okay. done. Okay. Right here, right in front of the airport. <clears throat> did, did you put our now we're gonna put the GPS no. on and drive out so I can see how to get out of here. Cause I don't right know here. how to get out of here. I thought that was the guy from Black Ink. Caesar? Caesar, I thought it was Caesar. Head southeast. <laughs> All right, so look in front of me. So we have to drive out from here. In 1,000 feet, keep left to stay on Hobby Airport Loop. Get the airplane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think I think I could do it. I think I'll be all right. Just remember that turn when it, when it tells you it's, it's one street go this way, one street goes, and it makes that little curve. After you stay at that curve, yeah, don't make that right. All right. Remember, I right? remember that street. How you came out the airport? Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, baby, I do. I remember, baby. <clears throat> no, I got it, baby. I think it's straightforward. I mean, because we just came in through this same area. Even the, bus, we, even the buses over here look different. The bus stops, you see? Yeah. Well, well, I'll sleep on it and I'll see how I feel in the morning. Because if not, you'll just get an Uber. Hey, guys. All under this bridge right here is a lot of tents right there. You really can't see that chunk out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> 